نروح شوي ماي نيم از يارا ايوب وانا من البحرين بس ساكنه في دبي اند اي ام ا فيجوال ارتست اند توداي اي ام كوندكتينج ذا ورك شوب اوف هاو تو تيك كرييتيف بيكتشرز ليتس جيت ستارتد اول شيء طيحت الورقه ما عليش انزين سو لايك اي سيد اي ام ا كونتنت كرييتر فروم بحرين ليفينغ ان دبي اند توداي اي ام غونا شو يو هاو تو تيك كرييتيف بيكتشرز بس بليز ريمبر ذات ذيز ار just the tips and tricks that I learned from my career on social media. يعني صار لي الحين يمكن five years when I'm on Instagram. وتوه الحين من قبل كم سنة I cracked the code for myself. The things that I learned probably you know may not apply to you, but inshallah you'll get inspiration from them. And I'm just going to be taking you through my process, and you'll see uh, the weird way that I think that helps me create the pictures that I do. If you don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is at yourzies. I'm joking, you don't have to, but please do. I need more followers. <laughs> Anyways, first of what is a creative picture? I know that this presentation will not look creative at all, but it's okay, you'll still learn creative tips. I posted this question on my Instagram and Kadi also posted it on their Instagram stories. Why did you get So I'm going to share some with you. So these are the answers that I got on Instagram as well as Kadi's Instagram. In my opinion, something that gives you a reaction. This is something that I always take into account whenever I create an Instagram picture. For example, يعني you shouldn't put too much pressure on yourself but I always put too much pressure on myself but then when I ask my soul will this give someone a reaction will my mom's friend call her and tell her ليش بنتك لها درجة مينونة or not that's the goal second thing visually attractive colors one of the most answers that I got was attractive colors and that just sparks some kind of yeah your eyes your eyes eat basically and you, your eyes look at something and they eat it up so when something is attractive when the colors are popping it sparks some kind of emotion in them and then this is something now that applies to our generation something that makes me not want to scroll by yeah and it's actually it's get done on instagram oh my god like there's seriously nothing on my instagram page and then you look at something you're like hmm just that hmm, hi, these two letters hmm, is what visual artists try to get from you. So this is something really important, something that makes you not want to scroll by and just forget about it. And something out of the ordinary. This is something that everyone has their own definition of. Methelen, each person's definition of ordinary is different. So it all depends on you. This is something personal. I'm going to take you through my process before we start and we get into it even more. I'm going to take you through my process. How I come up with an idea or how an idea comes to me, basically. I will say I, I always make sure and my mind is open just to take content. Then I'm a content creator and my job is actually content creation. So I look for ideas everywhere. Anytime I think of something, I look at this, I look at this gadu that I took from my aunt in Bahrain. And I'm like, I need to take a picture with a gadu in some kind of way. But sometimes things just come to you and you'll see how. Anyways, for our shay methan, I can go out of the sala, a khoo yad khal, I go li, yara, please go to Spinney's and buy me strawberry milk. This is the first thing that comes to mind. Oh my God, I hate strawberry milk. I seriously hate strawberry milk. And gabal, you can, I would drink it if it's like really cold. But in general, I'm not, I'm like a chocolate person. I'm not a strawberry milk person. So that's, it, it sticks in my mind. It stirred some kind of emotion in me. The, the sadma of my brother asking me, can you get me strawberry milk? I'm like, how do you drink it? That stayed in my mind. Then I decide to take action. There's a reason why this stirred some kind of emotion in me. Let me explore it even more. So I'm like, wouldn't it be a little ironic if I created some kind of post out of strawberry milk? Should I do it? Madri, should I? And then, after that, I'm like, yes, I'm going to do it, you know, but I love to exaggerate. I love to take things to kind of another level in terms of always making sure that, خلاص, I thought of strawberry milk. Now there's going to be 10,000 strawberry milks in the picture. <laughs> so I'm going to buy all the strawberry milk for Khalid. So after this step, how can I take it to another level? To me, taking it to another level is adding some identity, some facial expressions, uh, and a pop of color, like a pop of color and just these three combined, I found, is the formula to my Instagram account. Each person could have a separate kind of formula, but this is what works for me. So, stay tuned, this is the result. This is what comes out of it. Yes, I know. <laughs> so, do you think this is a creative picture? 
if it's not a creative picture, you can say no, Adi, it's fine. Everyone has their own opinion. After this, what's so creative about it? Why do you think this is, if you think this is a creative picture, what's so creative about it? So write that down. It could be one word, مثلا, the colors, مثلا, the, the strawberry milk, your facial expression, a shape. Okay, so this is something that, I mean, this is something that, this is my goal, to get a reaction out of people after they see my post or my picture or whatever. Again, this is all like very like from my side, but inshallah, like this will also motivate you and inspire you to, to think outside the box when it comes to taking creative pictures or taking pictures in another way. So if my, يعني, usually when Rafijat Ummi Titsufiha Utgulha Bintaj Mainuna, what is this post? And you'll see in the next slide. This is one of the videos that uh, my elder like aunts and uncles just always talk to me about. So let's go. Okay, so you guys, I want you to tell me your reaction to that. This is something, Saraha, this is something that I love doing. And I actually coined a term for it. Ma'arf, if it's on Google. I don't know if someone already said this before, but it's mine, okay? And the term is manipulating nostalgia. I love taking something that's nostalgic, something that our parents, our grandparents, our aunts and uncles grew up with. Method and fish, like taking an old word like that and just adding some kind of different spin to it. Something taking, like, I, I always wanted to grow up in that era. I always hear my parents talk about things from Ayam home, Uchiri, and like, I just love listening to that, those stories and I love ruining them straight with my Bharati. I mean, I love adding some kind of spice, taking something that everyone loves and translating it in my own way because that shows that that's, that's how it translates in my mind, basically. So manipulating nostalgia, and that's something that, that applies to a lot of my posts. Like this, for example, I love taking things, Chips Aman, if you don't like Chips Aman, leave the workshop. I'm joking, please don't leave. It's your opinion. But Chips Aman is something that, is, uh, that we all love. And this is just my way of making it different. You know, I, cha I changed them into earrings. I actually, I tagged Chips Oman, but they didn't put me in their PR list and they didn't even send me a box of chips. So if someone knows the owner, please talk to them. <laughs> Kidding. But like, yeah, this is something that, uh, you know, I always see from the background, facial expressions, try to make, I try to make it kind of editorial, but at the end of the day, it's just like Chips Oman as earrings. But the facial expression plays a role because it doesn't really look like Chips Oman as earrings. It looks like a visual art. You know what I mean? This is another picture, and there's a story behind this picture. Basically, I'm holding a bouquet of uh, vegetables, and we were sitting on the dinner table one day. We don't sit at the dinner table, lunch table one day. And my mom was saying how when they were kids, they used to call salata zalata. And I know a lot of people in Iraq, they also call it zalata. So after that, I, I loved the word so much, I decided to marry it and create a bouquet out of it. So it's just like, you always have to be alert. You always have to be hearing words, you know, like you could be talking to someone, they say one word, it sticks in your mind. After that, force yourself, like challenge yourself to try to create out of it. If you're a content creator, just like always be alert. That's the biggest I, like advice I can give you. Always like be aware of your surroundings. If you see one thing that your eye catches, it, your eye probably caught it for a reason. You know, it probably wants you to do something with it. So listen to your gut, listen to your intuition and do it and always experiment. You know, you can go crazy with it. Something like I like, as you can see in the picture also, pop of color, you know, this is when I started getting into makeup. So I added some green eyeshadow. I don't know what that is. I think it's face paint. I added face paint to my eyes. And yeah, I still have that. It's probably from two years ago. I should probably throw that, but that's a different story. And then something like this, um, basically like I love rose water and I love when we get those mini rose waters from Bahrain. Okay, so I love when I get those mini bottles of rose water from Bahrain or like Margadouche and just like take them as shots, you know? Uh, that's something that I really, really like. And then we have something here. So this picture is actually one of my favorites because another thing you can do with content creation is to take something or take a word and say it very liter like literally. So basically, I love taking a word that's very literal, used every day, like for example, awargal, 
one of my favorite juices. I just came back from Kuwait and I missed our gum so much. But I put on Abayat Ras and I became the character that is our gum. And I, I just turned into the character translated with my facial expressions, like I said. And actually, this next video is something that I think really pushed my career on social media. And I'm going to play it right now and then explain. So let's go. Hello, everyone. Can you hear? My name is Gum. Awar Gum. And my eyebrow lady just left me. So I can't. So I can't. because this eyebrow lady was my favorite she just left and she didn't come back but anyways this video actually is what really like after this video a couple of brands approached me actually quite a few brands approached me and um like this is how i saw social media for what it is like the more you believe in yourself the more you believe in the work that you do and just take it to another level and not be afraid to try new things you will be noticed like you can't compare your progress to other people's progress because everyone has their own timeline okay some people can methane gain 2000 or 200,000 followers overnight some people can gain like 200 followers overnight and that's still fine you know everyone has their own progress oh inshallah yeah your time will come but this is when I think my time became, began, began to come. <laughs> I don't know how to talk. But this is when a lot of brands that came up to me and they saw my work and they knew who I was. And at the end of the day, I chose Benefit Cosmetics to work with, which is one of my favorite brands of all time. It is, I love the team. I love the spirit. I love the DNA of the brand. It really suits my personality. And after that, I was offered to be the content creator of the brand and the spokesperson of the brand as well. So never let anyone tell you, مثلاً شقعدة شقعدة تحطين على your Instagram or ليش شري قاعدة تسوين. Just do you, and inshallah, inshallah Allah بيوفقكم. So like I said, explore your interests and challenge yourselves. At this point, يعني أول شيء about your interests. مثلاً some people are really into like you know just like scenery photography. Some people are into like just like any kind of photography. But if you're not interested in that then try to find something it's it's okay like try to find something that you have even a little bit of interest in whatever it may be and try to develop it try to develop your ideas because at the end of the day you can't challenge yourself or you can't motivate yourself if you're not interested in what you're doing yeah and you مثلاً, you could think that you're interested in a certain type of post or a certain type of photography then you find something else and it's okay to change it's okay to like you know let yourself go try new things and that's something that I think is very important. So explore your interests, challenge yourselves, because you won't be motivated to actually explore if you're not interested in what you're doing. So this, at this point, this is when I started getting into the beauty industry more and I started getting into makeup more. So this is when I kind of tried to merge both of them. My biggest interest is like culture, colors, you know, like my identity is mostly that. But I tried to bring more makeup looks into it, you know, that eyeliner, some lashes here and there, and just try to make it like an overall, like cohesive look. So mixing two things, merging things, and finding new interests, but still maintaining your identity. That's something that's really important. And you can still do that. You can go into the beauty industry and take pictures of, you know, your makeup and stuff, but everyone will know who you are because your identity is still there. There's still that feel. So that's something to follow experiment and try new things go crazy don't be scared so here for example still maintain my identity still have my grandmother's abaytras but i have stickers on my face and red eyeshadow i mean red eyeliner and red mascara so this is something that's really motivating to me even though i honestly wasn't a hundred percent proud of this picture it still pushed me to kind of try new things and uh, this is something i posted very recently so again, still have Abayat Ras. I love the Abayat Ras. I still have the kind of cultural background, but look at that eyeliner. Like, don't tell me the eyeliner is not like, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I took my interest in both and merged them together while still maintaining my identity. And this is what I came up with. And then Ahem Shay, 
you do you let's sum on kalam al nas zain you have something you're interested in go out and do it you something مثلا caught your eye go follow it but wear a mask and wear gloves لان احنا في زمن الكورونا زين مثلا you something you remember it من قبل سنتين it just popped in your head it's there for a reason follow your gut follow your intuition and zain oh aham shay not everything has to make sense to everyone as long as it makes sense to you that's all that matters so i'm going to end it with this and <laughs> i hope you guys learned something i hope it inspired you in some way please let me know if you have any questions if you have anything you want to add if you have any experience of your own that you want people to hear about or to say something let me know please and inshallah you enjoyed it let's see the questions here what camera do you use i forgot to mention this i use my phone i use like what do i have iphone xs i still use this and the most important thing is lighting and like having مثلا i use a tripod i have my phone on it and there's a ring light with it if i can't find my tripod i use my my human tripods so my brothers and my sister i use those <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> one of the biggest things actually that i want to kick myself for not mentioning is utilize what you have make use of what you have anything you have at home you don't need the most expensive camera you don't need مثلا to go out and buy stuff if you want to that's fine ala kif to but for me how i started was just finding things around the house and making something out of it you know i would open the storage i took khishat basal i tried to take a picture with it it doesn't work my mom yells at me i put it back you know stuff like that مثلا i was obsessed for a while with taking pictures with shisma should i leave this لحظه let me leave the presentation دقيقه then so yeah what i was saying country fatra i used to love taking pictures with the teapot at home for mara kent i was out and i saw this baby i saw this teapot and it just changed my whole life yani yeah, how many cups of karak can you put in here i don't know but again i used to take pictures with things around the house my mom used to get so annoyed cuz i would take all her teapots but you know it's uh, that's something that i really love to do and i should jack them and come you go into your house like find some things that people forgot about and take pictures of it or with it writing down the things that inspires me oh my god ana akthar wahda ansa like i forget everything but the second i think of an idea i added myself on whatsapp so i can voice note myself on my own chat so i can remember it and listen to it later this also helped me with like presentations at work and stuff like that i would rehearse on whatsapp that's a different story but every time i think of an idea and there's a story with it شوف يا را this is what you're going to do okay or مثلا i have in my notes يعني yeah, just like keywords مثلا i want to take a picture with teapots active teapots and then like i think of it in, in another way i brainstorm i really hope you guys enjoyed and i really hope you guys يعني استفدتوا من اللي قلته and like me i hope at least one thing i hope at least one thing you know stuck with you guys How was your start? I mean the background the camera. How did I start? I started because I was bored. I don't have a huge story to tell, but I started one summer because I was bored and I I didn't start with the whole like cultural vibe. I started taking pictures dressed up as my favorite cartoon network characters. Mala dakhal at all, but when I went to uni, uh, like after uni my graduation project, I wanted to do a huge like music video, not really music video, but like a video of like Sugul Manama so I went to Bahrain and I started filming and I I just got a lot of like outfits and stuff like that jalabiya to abaytras to you know like bracelets and I didn't end up doing that video for some reason there were reasons I'm not going to talk about them but I still kept the stuff oh I used them as my props that's it mashallah you're a great presenter thank you where do you find the inspiration all around me <laughs> also it's very important to be inspired by people follow people on instagram that do the same thing that you are interested in مثلا even if you're starting out as a content creator follow people that have the sim- similar interests so that you can get inspiration from them not copy them but looking at their pictures that emotion that gets into you that kind of reaction is super important because it will help you think more like thoroughly and it will help you develop your ideas even more editing software sorry guys i didn't include these in the presentation i use final cut pro i use photoshop all the time uh yeah th- those two final cut pro and photoshop yeah that's it uh, do you ever experience some form of artist block 
قصة حياتي when I يعني خلاص مخي it just stops working and I'm like يلا يارا think of something the most important thing to do in that situation I learned is to wait it out ما علي صبروا إن شاء الله at some point that will come back to you your brain just needs a break sometimes and then try to develop other interests maybe I know when that happens to me I resort to taking makeup tutorials which is different but uh, yeah just try to put your energy towards something else and like I said having different interests can help you get inspiration and apply it to your other interests as well. مثلا whenever I have a creator's block I get اسبوعي يعني without taking any pictures or اسبوعي and sometimes شهر كامل and I take like for example a makeup look or like some kind of graphic eyeliner I'm like oh my god this would be so cool if I was standing in front of like نخلة or something like that and that's how that's how it'll be unblocked basically. How do you choose your background and your editing app? I always choose Final Cut Pro uh, for photos, I choose Photoshop and just use the Shisman tool, pen tool, and just feather it out a bit. And then I choose a cohesive color and just put it as a background. It's very simple. I'm so happy you enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed the workshop. You're so lovely and funny, having good and nice vibes. Thank you for the informative tips. They're really helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. If there's anything you want to add, add it, let me know. You can follow me on Instagram. I'm going to write it again. Anything you want. I'm here for you guys. If you need any more tips, if you have any questions to ask, I got you guys. So follow me on Instagram. I'll follow you all back, I swear. And uh, yeah, inshallah, sifatum al workshop. Thank you, Kadi Arts, for having me. And I'll see you guys next time, inshallah.